Thank you, Lee San. I think Kingpin is really fortunate to work with many, many good artists and good photographers. And uh, Lisa is one of them. And I think the portrait um, that she just showed us really inspired me. And I hope that inspire you. And next, um, I want to bring you another person that I feel that, you know, also inspired me, and which is Solomon. But before, you know, I bring him on, uh, here's a little video. Hey, King Payne, Solomon Russell here of Left Hand Twill. Today I'll be talking about my last collaboration with Bosa Denim and Blue Magazine, where I talk about transparency and also designed a seven-piece collection called My Selfish Story. I hope you all enjoy it. So the idea behind the collection was My Selfish Story. Um, for me, Selvage is somewhat the gold standard for denim. It doesn't have to be that way for everyone, but that's just how I feel. Um, so I named each garment a different noun for the word standard. Um, and this is what I came up with. So this is the Selvage Paradigm Jacket. Um, it's a 13.5 ounce organic cotton jacket. It's a classic silhouette. Um, we have classic gold selvage lining on the inside, uh, flathead buttons, keyhole buttonholes. Um, I think this is a great jacket for anyone looking to get into raw denim. Um, you know, it's, it'll be perfect for fading. If you put the work in, you'll get the fades, you know, so, uh, this is the, Selvage Paradigm Jacket. Up next is the Collarless Guide Jacket. It's my take on a utility chore coat. Um, I decided to go collarless with this jacket to kind of give it a 1940s, 1950s look like some of the brands were doing back then like Oshkosh, Bigosh, and Headlight. Um, so yeah, it's a 13.5 ounce organic cotton, um, flathead buttons, keyhole buttonholes. You get the four deep pockets on it with one pocket for pen storage. Um, even though the collection is based on selvage, this is the one item that is non-selvage. But still a very nice coat. I'm proud of it and happy with it. Myself, so hello. Hi, Hi Vivian. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Are you used to see yourself on Zoom like this? <laughs> Not this early. <laughs> Thank you for waking up so early for us. Absolutely. Well. I think, you know, for people who don't know you, which I think is rare, um, can you tell us who is Solomon and uh, what is Left Hand Tool? Well, as you said, my name is Solomon Russell. I'm from Denver, Colorado. Um, contrary to popular belief, I'm not in New York City. I'm in, I'm in Colorado. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, Left Hand Twill is a brand that I started a few years back. Um, it started as a vintage denim company. I started collecting, buying, and selling vintage, and it kind of slowly progressed into denim design also. So it's kind of taken its course, and it's worked out so far. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So I, know, I remember I met you first uh, during the Kingpin show, Kingpin New York, and then you have a little area in the vintage market. So how do you start it with Kingpins and what has changed for you since then? Um, you know, I started with Kingpins, I, I can't remember which year that was, it was a few years back, but um, I knew it was something that I had to do to get my foot in the door as far as being 
surrounded in in just in depth with the industry. So, you know, I, I, I got my foot in the door and since then, you know, I've met some great people. I've have made friendships through Kingpins and, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of jump started a lot of the stuff that I do now today. So, and that's as far as design goes. Well, I think that's the, our little denim community that we created, which is really nice that everybody can be friend and friendly. <laughs> yeah. And see each other. Um, hopefully we'll see each other very soon. Um, I hope so too. And today's is about inspiration. So can you tell us what, what do you do to stay inspired? Um, well, seeing how things have been, you know, the past year, uh, staying inspired hasn't been necessarily easy, you know, because we can't travel right. or anything like that. But, um, you know, I, I think being in, in staying inspired is more of a mind state that you have to be in in order to create, you know. So whether it's reading a book, going through old magazines, watching documentaries, listening to music, whatever it might be, you know, it, it helps. So in, in the little times that we were able to get out of the house last year, you know, that mm -hmm. that definitely helped too, so. Right, right. Yeah. Talking to some denim friends. Maybe. Talking to denim friends always, you know, that's <laughs> always something. And, you know, I appreciate everybody who I have made connections with who are always open to talk about denim. So, mm -hmm. and it, it helps a lot. So do you look for doing more design work? I do. Um, I'm actually in the process of um, another collaboration with Sorty Enterprises. Um, hopefully that will be done this summer. And uh, it's shaping up pretty nice. I'm excited about it. Things are looking good. And so, yeah, design more design work is definitely on the table for me. Just got to stay inspired, though. That's that's the key. <laughs> <laughs> that's the key. Too. Yeah. So I think we still have a little, a couple minutes. Um, can you talk us a little bit about you know the video earlier? You know what you had to do for Bosa. Yeah. So that was a collaboration with Bosa Denim. Um, that was that was the fun process of going through archives of mine and creating something new out of it. Um, but I also write a bit. So I wrote an article about transparency mm -hmm. um, in the denim industry with along with that collection that I designed. So, um, you know, and it's all important. You know, you, you have to talk about things like transparency. It goes hand in hand with the design work and, you know, just being fashionably cool, you know, you have to talk about the the transparency of things in the industry. So um, yeah, it was a fun little project that I did. That's great, that's great. Yeah. So, and then you, you're you doing something with Sorty and then I'm sure you're gonna plan something more in the future, right? Yes, what that is right now, I'm not sure. And I'm okay, I'm okay with that. You know, I'm kind of uh, in a space right now where I'm not hard pressed to try and make something happen. Um, you know, I think when the idea comes, it'll come. And when that happens, I'll be ready for it. So um, yeah, you know, it, it's, it's, I'm hanging in there. <laughs> it happened when it happens. It will happen when it happens, yeah. That's good, that's good. Well, thank you so much for your time. And then I hope that, you know, you can catch out a little sleep after this or you want to do more inspiration work after. Um, um, I'm wide awake. <laughs> <laughs> we have a um, few more segments, you know, maybe you can join us. And then uh, Amy, your friend is coming up. And then we have Taryn coming up next a crochet artist. So stay tuned with us. Thank you so much oh. for joining. Talk to you soon. Thank, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Solomon. Bye. Bye.